video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the grey creepy cat mask as well as the Ludendorff survivor outfit and the mummy outfit. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering, if you go on your mini map right here, this is the new icon, the Ludendorff Cemetery Survival. So if you park right up here at your cemetery, this is the location on the map right here. You'll see this marker right here. You walk up to it, go ahead and enter. So you can choose endless waves or you can disable it. Which we'll do disable just for now. Let's go ahead and get all ammo. Let's go ahead and get some armor. Confirm. Let's start this thing up. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at North Yankton. Oh, man. Okay, what are we going to use? I think we need the heavy, right? We need the combat. 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 MG, the machine gun. Mark II. And by the way, if you get to like, I think it's like level 15. I'll let you know here in a second. Uh, you'll be able to see the minimap. The minimap shows up. I think it's like level 15. I don't even know. All right, I can hear something. And I'll show you the uh, the, the chances too. Because there is a chance thing here. All right, wave one looking pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. We've only killed two people and we're like a quarter of the way or a fifth of the way through. Any more? Okay, it's one bullet so far. One bullet. All we need to do, though, is survive three of them. Just just three. Three waves to get the weekly challenge bonus. That's it. All right, well, we can hear these guys. We can see these guys, too. There we go. Wave one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, come on. If I can do it, you guys can. We didn't do anything there. It was so easy. All right, you can hear right over here. All right, just make sure you got a decent gun. Make sure you got some decent ammo. That's all I'll say. I mean, I don't even know why I'm reloading right now. I don't need to with this gun, but... I mean, you can see we're on wave two already. This has taken us literally seconds. I'm not doing anything at all. Nothing spectacular. We just want to get that weekly challenge. And then we're going to jump in a little bit. Well, just a second. And we'll jump in and see if we can get the... Oh, who are you? Oh, look at this. You can't even you can't even lock onto that. That thing just kind of like showed up. All right, come on. We're almost done. There we go. Wave two complete. All we need to do, keep in mind, is three waves and we are done for the challenge. It does get more difficult. Okay, this isn't this isn't too bad. It just reminds me of like, you know, Call of Duty, like Black Ops Zombies or something. This really isn't too bad at all. But you actually have like freaking lock on if you're using a controller. I can hear something mental over here. You can see the waves, like I say, on the bottom right there. Oh, oh no, it's getting crazy now. All right, well, we just punch those guys. We're not even worried about them. Oh, we got flaming ones. Now, there is a percent chance that you get these. I'll explain it a little bit more here in a second. I can hear something over here. There he is. He's flaming. All right, come on. Wave two, wave three, done. That should have unlocked it. We're going to back out of this. And we're going to see if we've unlocked it. You know what? Instead of backing out, it says right there in the bottom left, you see that award survivor. We're just going to die and then we'll back out that way. All right, we're done. And there you go. Survival failed. But we did three. And that's all they said we had to do, man. That's all they said we had to do. All right, and there it is. The weekly challenge complete. Survive three waves in survival and $100,000. And this is going to be the gray creepy cat mask that you are going to unlock for this week's weekly challenge. Surviving three waves of the Ludendorff Cemetery. You're going to get this mask right here plus $100,000. Now, let's continue, though, because we do also have the Ludendorff Survivor outfit. So let me show you how to get that. All right, so for this one, we may as well just have other people join us, right? It's just going to make your life a little bit easier. There's no reason to do this by yourself. Uh, so we're going to have a few people join us on this one, just random people. The more, the merrier. Again, you could do this solo, but we're just going to do it with people just to make time go by a little bit faster. Now, I'm not going to go through every single wave with you. You've already seen me do the first few. We're just going to jump into it. I'll give you some tips and tricks, show you what it looks like, maybe on the fifth wave and then like the eighth wave, things like that. Uh, so let's jump into it. So one thing I do want to mention really quick, if you want to know how much health you have, you don't want to waste your snacks. If you hit the weapon wheel, you can see on the bottom left there, the mini map, you can see your armor and health, just FYI. All right, so for this one, we're going to try something different. I'm not sure what round we're on here, uh, but we're going to try the minigun. It doesn't have an aim on it though. So we'll just see, we'll see what it's like. So it's definitely like mowing people down. But because you don't have like an aim on it and you can't shoot people when they're like right on top of you like this. So it is a little bit, I don't know if it's better, to be honest. This one, you can like hit people. I don't know. This one just feels a little bit more controlled using the machine gun, to be completely honest with you. Like if you have some range on them, I would say let's maybe go to this, like for this. 
Like, as long as no one comes close to you, like, this thing is, is an absolute beast, right? Yeah, this thing's a beast if you've got some range. But when it, that happens, yeah, it's not good. All right, let's try and jump away here. I think I got 40 in the last one. Let's see what we got in this one. I think the minigun didn't help. 32. Yeah, it wasn't as good as last one. The minigun's good if you've got some distance, man. It's not good at close range. No, we can't die. This is the final one. I'm dead. This is why you do it with people, right? I'm hoping this guy can do it. He's on fire. We've only got these, a few people left. If I could have just made it out a little bit longer, man. If he can just take out these last two people. One more person. Oh, two more people. He's doing really well. Three more. Oh, no. They got him. It's the fire that gets you. Because it just it doesn't matter if you've got armor on. The fire will literally just get you. He did it. My guy did it. My guy did it, man. This is why it's helpful to do with people. I just, I messed up pulling out the bloody... I was, I was so obsessed with doing the machine gun or the mini gun. That was my fault. We did it though. But anyway, that's all you have to do. I say that's all. That last one was pretty difficult. Uh, but that's all you have to do is survive 10. Now, I don't know if I survived 10 technically. We'll find out right now. And there it is, the ladies and gentlemen, the Ludendorff Survivor Outfit. Now, as you can see, even though we died on the 10th round, our, we still made it through because of our teammate there. So definitely try and do it with people. Doing it solo all the way to the end, you're going to be, it's going to be incredibly difficult. But that's it for this one. All right, let's move on to the mummy outfit. All right, guys, so you may have noticed for this one, it's a bit more colorful, right, than the other one. The other one I was playing on PC. For this one, in order to get this outfit, you have, well, you do, you have to be on console because for this, you do need GTA+. Plus. These guys are going to hate me. I wanted to jump into this solo, by the way, but the game just threw me into this one. So there's not much I can do about it. But let's speed this up here a little bit and I'll explain. Here's the thing. I have no health, no ammo, no snacks, no armor. I feel bad for joining this group, to be completely honest with you. All right, one wave six. I'm going to be honest with you. I've not a clue how I'm doing this. I've got the most basic weapon possible. I don't... <laughs> I just don't want to let these guys down. You know what I mean? By the way, if you want this and you have GTA+, Plus, you only have to do one round. So maybe jump in by yourself and then die and be done with it. Uh, but for me, I'm just, I don't want to let these guys down. So let's fast forward anyway to the end for you guys. We don't need to see this. All right, so it's done. It's done. It's fine. I mean, I feel bad because we were on like wave nine, but I just didn't have the weapons, ammo, anything like that. But anyway, let's skip ahead. So once you've done it, you're going to go into one of your closets, go to outfits special, and you can see, wait, it's not here. That's because Rockstar typically, as always, uh, they say it takes up to 72 hours. Let me show you. So this is direct from Rockstar, the mummy outfit. So you can see right down here how to claim. The mummy outfit will be automatically added to your GTA Plus member wardrobes within 72 hours of playing the Ludendorff Cemetery Survival. So you literally just have to play one round. Like as long as you finish one round and even if like you go into the second one and then die, you'll get it, but it'll take you up to 72 hours. So just keep that in mind. So that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it helped out at least a couple of you. If it did, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notifications so you know when I upload more videos like this. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always with a brand new video. Goodbye.